Um, my name is Diana Kirkwood. I have a background in environmental research. I have a specialization in geography and also a master's of environmental assessment from here at Concordia University. And currently, I am the campus zero waste coordinator. So we're focused on increasing waste education and effectiveness at Concordia campus and Montreal in general. Are you tired of being full of garbage? What does that mean? I'm referring to the fact that Canadians throw out 30 million tons of garbage every single year. If you want to picture this, it's like throwing out 90 Empire State Buildings every year. 40% of this 30 million tons of garbage is actually produced by us, the residential consumer. So let's just bring it closer to home. Can you picture 5 million garbage bags sitting on your front lawn? This is the amount of trash that Quebec actually throws out every single day. All our garbage goes to five landfill sites, and each and every one is near or almost at full capacity. In this waste production system, coffee cups are actually a huge burden on landfills. In Canada alone, we throw out 1.6 billion disposable cups a year. At Concordia University, we throw out over 3.8 million. This equals 57 tons of garbage a year. So, what can you do? Well, today, you can choose to forego your daily use of the disposable coffee cup variety in favor of the familiar reusable variety. Anytime you choose to reuse something, you'll be reducing your overall environmental footprint. Because if you take a paper cup, which requires all these resources to be created, and then you just throw it out, then another one is just going to be made, creating this cycle of consumption, which is unsustainable, as we do not have the waste management facilities to deal with the waste production. A lot of people think, well, why would I use a reusable mug if it's made of steel or plastic when I can use the disposable kind, which is either compostable or made of paper? Even if it's made of paper, this is, doesn't mean that it's recyclable. And what's important to consider is that the paper cup, unlike what most people believe, is not recyclable at all. The reason for this is that it has a polyethylene or wax lining, which is what allows you to drink out of a paper cup and not have it spill all over you. And it's not recyclable in Quebec, any lids whatsoever. Even if it's compostable, it doesn't mean that we all have a compost for it to decompose properly. So while the lid themselves are actually made from polystyrene, this might be more familiar to you as plastic number six. You can look at the number of any plastics you have, and you can actually see the recycling symbol, and it'll say six inside. Whenever you see that, beware, it's not recyclable. What's more is plastic has a high level of human health concerns attached to it. For example, the plastic number six uses chemicals like volatile organic compounds, HCFCs as a blowing agent, and benzene in the actual composition of the styrofoam product. And these are all chemicals that are either linked to causing atmospheric smog, global warming, and even worse, acting as a carcinogen agent, creating a huge concern for human cancer development in the world. So for every 16 ounce disposable paper cup that you decide not to use, you will be saving one square foot of habitat, reducing global demand for wood products and increasing landscape for wilderness. As a citizen of this global world, and especially Canada, which is one of the huge consumers in all of the world, we actually have a lot of power in the decisions and choices we make in our products. If we tell industry that we are not going to buy plastic products because of their impacts associated at each stage of their life cycle, they're going to have to come up with strategies to make sure that what we want is achieved. 